that is a projected aviates and kinds of projected aviates first of all we have to discuss about the definition of aviates audiovisual aids are anything by means of which learning process may be encouraged or carried on through the sense of hearing or sense of sight and it will become more interesting for the students then there are two kinds of aviates projected and non projected today we are going to discuss about the projected aviates and tomorrow we will discuss about non projected these are the list of non projected aviate but uh, this material for tomorrow today we are going to discuss about the projected aviates definition of projected aviates projected visual aids are pictures shown upon a screen by the use of a certain type of machine for example ohp machine or overhead projected used in your classrooms the ohp sheet is very small one a4 size but when you see the picture depicted on the screen that is very wide it is the projected visual aids then advantages advantages of projected aids provides greater enjoyment in learning students not feel bored stimulates more rapid learning then increase retention of the students compel st attention students focus on that particular material which are uh, depicted in front of them enlarges or reduce actual size of the objects then uh, we can arrange the size of the uh, size of the pictures which are depicted on the screen according to our class then brings distinct past and the present into the classroom then next is it is a various kinds the projected aids are opaque projectors slides film strips overhead projectors and lcd panels first of all we have to talk about opaque projector what is that a device which displays opaque materials by shining a bright lamp onto the object like uh, you can take the example of prism a system of mirrors prism or imaging lenses is used to focus on image of the material onto the viewing screen ohp is also the example of this and the projector the second example you can take then projectors require brighter bulbs larger lenses care to be taken to prevent material damage and not very common these kind of things very delicate and we have to handle it very sophisticated way then typically used to project images of book pages drawings minerals specimens leaves etc artists and enlargement tools then predecessors to the overhead projector next is care of epidise epidiscope handled 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 it carefully protection from breakage away from the moisture keep it clean then preferably kept in a cool room and switched off when not in use after that advances of opaque projector graphic aids are projected with magnification tracing enlargement in Uh, images no need to clipping picture from book resources flat specimen like coin cloth pieces leaves can also be projected seen conveniently by a large number of students teaching material of various sizes can be used and language reading lessons are done with the help of this then stem size of for that 20 cm to 250 cm size of size of pictures helps in preparation of graphic aids then there are various disadvantages to demands total darkness of the lecture hall then it's a bulky machine electricity required without that we have not to uh, think about to deliver the lecture then difficult maintenance it's expensive then role of teacher here teacher should be arrange the room for the lecture with the help of opaque projector then sitting arrangement of the students and the students not allowed to sit to uh, sit near to the screen then optical build in pointer to focus attention then every picture with commentary 
testing purposes. When the picture depicts in front of the students, then the teacher has to explain about the picture. Then slide and film step projection. Slide. A slide is a still like a transparency. It, the size is 70 mm, 35 mm or 6 mm size, which is optically enlarged and projected on a screen as a real image. Then film strips, these strips used in your uh, movie theater. The film strip is a series of sequenced slides on a piece of film covering a large portion of a lesson. 20 to 50 slides or frames are on about half meters to one and half meters long film strips. Four kind of slides can be made by teachers. First one, marker slides, cellophane slides, silhouette slides, then attached glass slides. Marker slide, what is that? A clean glass should be taken by the teacher and uh, mark it with different colors and uh, written or sign or any other marking done by the, uh, done with the help of the, with the help of a pen, marker pen. A clean glass piece of right, si right size draw picture or a diagram is with a fine tip marker pen hold glass piece in cardboard or wooden frame. Silhouette slides. Small cutout from color cellophane. Color cellophones are plated on the glass pieces. Silhouette actually, uh, silhouette means it's the lining or the outer covering. Cellophanes, I think you, you, everyone you know about it because uh, you have to know about the OHP sheet that is the cellophanes that is made by made with the help of cellophane okay it is a stuff used here small cut cutouts from color cellophane you have to take the take one transparency draw something on transparency or write something on transparency that transparency put into the both mirror okay Whatever you written on your transparency or cellophane that will be printed on the glass which are you used front side or back side. Okay. Then next is etched glass slide. Clean a glass piece thoroughly, rinse it with kerosene, draw the diagram with the crayon, glass marking pencil and this picture depicted large. Another method, cover the glass piece with the smoke from burning mustard oil lamp, add out the diagram with the sharp needle and these kind of uh, uh, diagram depicted in front of you which you can see in that particular image. Okay. Then slide and film strip projector. The slides and film strips are projected on a screen using an optical instrument called a slide and film strip projector. Technology same as opaque projector which we have uh, discussed earlier cannot project three dimensional image makes use of small photographs mounted on a slide then structure consists of metal case having concave reflector 500 watt to 1000 watt straight filament bulb set of concave lens called condenser to eliminate the slide then slide able to set of convex lenses have object objective which focuses the images of the slide on the screen then using common slide and film projector place the slide projector on a rigid and stable table place the screen at an appropriate place insert the slide projector or film strip carrier in its place after opening the tube mount a slide or film strip on its carrier insert the projector cord plug into the wall socket then darken the room for example when we going to present the presentation in our lecture hall that time we uh, plug in uh, plug in one cord with the laptop or one with projector and after that when we on the system that time one picture depicted in front of you that is the thing then switch on the cooling fan first firstly you switch on the cooling fan then you switch the bulb and when you finish your task you that time 
first of all you uh, off the bulb then after that you off uh, you have to off the fan then you can arrange or uh, arrange the uh, you can arrange the projector according to your need and uh, uh, you have to uh, you you have to settle settle the projector pictures before starting the presentation then preparation of slide show collect all the available slides according to your topic check check them thoroughly choose the slides arrange the chosen slides in a proper sequence darken the room make proper seating arrangement of students start teaching if in interruption are there then it means your teaching is not effective something is going wrong then care of slides and film strips they require care in handling and storage stored vertically in cardboard trays or right size trays should be covered they should be cataloged subject wise film strips can be placed in rolled up positions in cylindrical container container should be properly labeled then advantage again requires simple skills convenient aid for making classroom teaching interesting it's a small in size can be stored and also carried around easily quite cheaper illogical and sequential order of presentation image in the screen can be held for any time interval then save the time of the teacher capture attention of the students and students can clear their doubt at the time of presentation then advantage of film strips it's economical easy to make convenient to handle takes up little can be easily stored provides logical sequence can be used can it can use ac or dc power batteries rechargeable battery with solar panel anything you have then disadvantages of slides and film strip need a darkened room require equipment and power that will need to be maintained sequence cannot be changed visual media only it require audio or printed text require professional assistance for final production care of the film strip keep free of dust and dirt which can secrete the film strip keep dry because moisture can cause the emulsion uh, to become sticky okay then the film will stick together and to destroy then you have to take it carefully so that you can use it in the future too stories of the film strip store in a container away from heat dust and moisture when wi winding up the film strip hold on to the edges do not pull it to make it tighter as this can leave scratches on the film after that care of the equipment don't handle projector while the bulb is still hot as the bulb filament is fragile otherwise you feel harm okay Pack equipment carefully for safe transporting, transporting and all the uh, all the um, cords and uh, other related to that projector can handle properly and uh, make it properly. Protect from the environment, dust, dirt, and moisture. The next is micro projector. Slide projectors designed to project the microfilm slides and microscopic slides. To a group of students simultaneously reduces the cost of instruction. Enlargement on screen is quite big for students, while teachers' commentary micro projector can ensure that students are understanding. Then overhead projector. An OHP is an important electronic teaching aid. This machine projects an image from a transparency with the help of transparency we display the transparency on that uh, OSB machine and uh, it will depict in a large size with the large size in front of classroom in in front of students it will be advisable to switch off the bulb of OHP for 5 minutes after every 10 minutes of use so that the life of the OHP machine should be long preparing transparencies Prepared by writing on cellophane sheet, OHP sheet, with the help of OHP pen, you have to use colored pen, but do not use so many colors, only you have to use two colors for heading or for description, not more than this, and Yerok 
xeroxing from any printed material you can xerox on the cellophane sheets besides single transparency can be used on a roll then six rules are there to prepare the transparency what are that you have to write only six lines on each transparency and you have to write only six word in a one line six mm smallest letter size and six centimeter three plus three on each side margin this is the standardized rule for preparation of the ohp sheet then screens for projections effective utilization of projection material necessitates careful selection of the screen types of screen are aluminium coated glass board flat white screen screen should be mounted properly and at a proper angle you are you all are aware about that screen then using an ohp place the ohp on a stable table so that the uh, do not distract the class with the objective lens facing the screen behind the teacher. Put the cord plug into the power wall socket, switch on the blower first and then the bulb. Place transparency on the glass top. You have to use the pointer so that students can understand easily. Move the objective lens and mirror assembly up and down to get the image in focus on the screen explain about the material on the transparency from behind ohp with a strong pointer but your pointer should be should be very uh, effective one not so big not so large the handle of the teacher should not come on the slide make your point short and simple remove what is not needed then advantages of ohp teacher can face the class without any difficulty with the help of OSP. The teacher can maintain eye contact and observe the reactions of the students. Students, if students understand or not, this reaction teacher can observe easily. Small objective objects can be shown on the, mach on the machine simply by placing them on projection slide. The graphics and writings can be shown very clearly and colorfully. It does not need as darkened room as compared to other projectors. Then some do's and don'ts while using OHP. What are that? Do's. You have to do these kind of activities while using OHP. Focus and position image before presentation. Stand to the side of the screen. Turn off projector when not in use. Use 10 minutes and off 5 minutes. Letters the larger, the la letters the larger, the better. Use color to attract attention. Put captions on top. Have images into two thirds of visual position image at the top of the screen. Use pen or ruler to point. Use upper and lower case letters so that your OSP sheet become more attractive and interesting. Don'ts. These activities you never don't do. Walk or stand in front of the screen. It's distraction. Leave the projector on when you're talking about something. That time you have to off the projector. Write closely on the whole of the transparency sheet. Only six lines. One line consists of six letters. Okay. That are also in particular size. Then have images type written or too small. Use black or white visuals only. Use fingers to point. Never use. Use only capital letters. It's also look doesn't nice. Then LCD panels. Largely superseded by data projectors. When connected to a computer, will enable to project computer generated image onto a display screen. Modern equivalent of the slide projector or overhead projector. Then PowerPoint presentation. Alternative to using OHP. Production of interesting and visually attractive presentation. You can use different kind of images in your PowerPoint presentation so that your students can easily learn and know about the thing in front of them then flexibility both in terms of content and display graphics drawings tables and organizational charts keep presentation simple and clear.
clear, effectively used to emphasize the main features of the topic. Guidelines for PowerPoint presentation limit numbers of slides, not more than 12 for a 10 minute presentation. Okay. Ensure text contrasts with the background, avoid pattern background, comply with copyright or law when pictures, charts, tables or diagrams are used. Standardized position, color and style use on one or two animation or transition effects so that it looks like professional PPTs rather than it's only entertaining. Then eight rules for better PowerPoint presentation. Remember that you are the presenter, not the PowerPoint. Don't make your audience read the slides either. Make sure your presentation is easy on the eyes. Never include anything that makes you announce. I don't know if everyone can read this. Leave out the sound effects and background music. Then stick with simple animations if you use them at all. Proofread, again proofread, again proofread. Then practice the class, practice the class, practice the class. Actually, it is a way to succeed in presentation. Advantages of PowerPoint presentation. If you get lost, you can casually look at the PowerPoint for guidance. People can register the information more as they can observe the PPTs. Images and good presentation can make the PPTs more engaging. Good for reference at the end if, the, if they ask questions. Looks more professional. Okay. Then disadvantages of PowerPoint. You will not be able to change any slide during a presentation so that at the time of proofreading, at the time of preparation, you can change anything. Presenter cannot get into giving their full heart to the presentation. Time consuming. Technically fault can arise that time you could not deliver your lecture. Then what is the conclusion of this lecture? Audio visual aids are very useful for teaching process. Okay, it makes the presentation more clear, interesting, and effective. One audio visual are great tools to catch the audience attention. It is important to use variety of teaching methods for students with varying preferences. An aviate should also not distract a student from learning experiences. I hope you clear with this lecture.